Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Today we're going to take a quick look at a mod that we don't get very often in BeamNG Drive, but when we do get one of these things, we got to check it out, obviously. We are in Italy at the airport, so you might be able to guess uh, what we're doing today. It's a plane, baby. We can just see it pop into existence over here. So yeah, this is the Mountain Goat. It's like a a very durable well it's not finished obviously but <laughs> it's a, what do you call it a bush plane yeah uh, it's a very durable has like an insane suspension uh nowhere to sit at the moment i can only assume this thing is heavily in development uh but it does fly so obviously we got to check it out when the mod is finished we'll take a look at it again but for now this is what we got uh we have a floating back into this thing on a on a wheel but you know looks don't matter as long as it flies well i'm happy and i'm happy to report that it does indeed fly well this actually might be the easiest plane to fly uh in beam and g drive i mean that's i mean that's not saying much there's like five planes for this game total but it, it is very easy uh to fly so the startup sequence we need to make sure we're in realistic gearbox mode so everything is manual transmission uh, basically, and then we can throttle up and then gear up. There we go. We should probably take the parking brake off. There we go. That might help a little bit. So throttle this thing up. There we go. We can see the suspension and we are airborne just like that. I'm pretty sure in real life, these things are made to take off in just a ridiculously low uh, amount of space we didn't yeah we definitely didn't need uh this giant runway to take off on this thing i just thought it'd be funny but yeah here we are flying within like a minute absolutely insane how's the first person yeah no seat this is where the seat will go i can only uh imagine so here we go flying and beamage you drive it it's always so cool to do this whether it be a flying car or a full-on airplane it never stops being cool. I think we might need to make a VR flying BMG video soon. What do you guys think? If that sounds cool, make sure that like button down below because I would definitely like to do that. Yeah, here we are flying over Italy, man. Yeah, so since this is a very durable plane, I don't think we need to loop back around uh, to land this thing. I think we could probably land this thing damn near anywhere and we could probably be okay. So I'm thinking maybe we could try landing on the beach somewhere. Maybe like right there. We should probably throttle down a little bit, actually. How do I throttle down? Oh, there we go. Do I have like an air brake? Hold on. I need to look at the controls here. Elevator up, yeah, air ailerons, flaps. There's the flaps. Maybe we should be the air brake. Okay, so it's, it's up on the D-pad. I can do that. There we go. Oh, you can see a pop up as well. I feel like we're still going pretty darn quick, but I think I think we can do this because we do have the suspension. Oh, okay. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. There we go. There we go. Yes. No, don't throw it off. Don't throw it off. Slow. Where's the actual brakes? Uh oh, do I need them? I don't think I do. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> I am not a pilot. Can you tell? So yeah, I just landed on the beach in a couple hundred feet. Let's get back up in the air because why not? Let's see how long it takes to take off from the beach. Drifting on the beach in a plane. There we go. And just like that, just like that. Let's get the flaps out of the way or the air brakes out of the way. Can we get a variant um, that can land on the water? That would be pretty sick <laughs> because I don't know. Uh, that's like I, I, I play a lot of um, flight sim Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And uh, my favorite planes in that game are all water planes. Uh, so if we could get a water variant for this, that would be awesome. But of course, finish the, the, the actual mod first. There's like no side panels on this thing at all. It's basically a flying frame, uh, but it's still really freaking cool, man. Look at this flying over here. Look at that. It's a beautiful image. Hold on. I need to get the, the UI out of here. We got to get fully immersed. Let's see if we can fly through town without crashing here. How low can I get? Oh. Ooh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, pull up, pull up. Okay, we're okay. Now, should we actually do a crash test? I feel like we probably should at some point, right? All right, fine. We'll aim for that castle way over yonder. And uh, we'll see what happens if we completely lose control. This would be like throwing a styrofoam plane at like a, a castle, basically. But uh, 
<laughs> it's fine. Oh, <laughs> look at, don't look down. All right, here we go. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Oh, <laughs> I think we may have hit the gas tank there. Yeah, this thing just absolutely shredded itself. Oh, my goodness gracious. And all the way down we go. <laughs> I'm wondering. I know the uh, olive green looks pretty good, but can I change the color of this thing? Yes, you can. I got to get the neological colors in there. There we go. Beautiful. See, now it's an actual beauty. This looks like a toy, <laughs> if I'm being <laughs> completely honest with you. Definitely looks like a toy. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, let's turn on... Let's turn on some traffic and we'll we'll try to aim for some cars on the street. Because I did say that this is probably the easiest plane to fly in BMG Drive. So let's back up that claim uh, by seeing if we can pinpoint a target from the sky and dive bomb them. There we go. I don't think we're going 330 miles an hour. Yeah. 350. Yeah, no, I think I may be going 30 miles an hour. <laughs> but there we go. We are fat. This is faster than uh, driving. I don't know if I'd feel safe flying this in real life, but, um, you know, it's the magic of flight. So you can't really, can't really deny it. So let's fly over to the nearest town here and, um, and see if we can make something happen here. I'll give you guys a nice first person view. I don't know why my FOB is like this. Hold on. That looks awful. If you're curious how you change this, uh, if you go over to the cameras, driver cam, let's go ahead and pull that one back. I usually like it around 60, 65, maybe 70, depending on the car. Uh, but there, there we go. We can see a little bit more now. We can see the uh, the nice interior we have here. Very nice indeed. <laughs> oh, I love planes in this game. I, I always like to bring this up, but I think it's just super impressive uh, that this was a game made to simulate cars super realistically, but the physics are just so darn good that people can make planes and they actually fly in this game. That's still kind of blows my mind. All right, so I can see some cars. The thing is they only spawn in around. So let's, let's go here. What maybe somebody will spawn driving the other way. Yes, they are. Here we go. 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 Oh, I missed. Oh, oh. <laughs> hit the gas tank it exploded it was all over now we're just we're just blocking traffic at this point imagine seeing this happen in front of you that would be a little nutty yikes i wonder if i like spawn way up in the air if i have enough time to turn on the engines and recover let's spawn uh oh that's not what i meant to do okay there we go turn the engines on I think we should have plenty of time here. Yeah, we do. We're fine. This thing takes no time at all to get lift. We're going so fast. It's ripping itself apart, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even think... I think I put myself too high up in the air on that one. Anyway, guys, I know this is kind of a short video, but uh, these things are just so cool in this game. The planes... Uh, that people make and I'm excited to see uh, how this mod continues to evolve in the future I mean I can only assume this isn't the final product maybe it is maybe it's like a, a prototype or something uh, but I'd like to see this thing fleshed out man finished with full interior working interactive gauges the works because man I because planes are just so freaking cool in this game anytime one pops up uh, I got to use it. I still use the ME262 all the time in this game. That mod is, what, six years old at this point? Uh, but yeah, it's like I said, it's nice to have a new plane uh, in the game. And I wish we got more, to be completely honest. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it. I'll have the link for this thing down below. Definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun, man. And a not steep learning curve at all. And again, this is probably the easiest plane I've ever flown. Uh, in this game. So I think that means something. But yeah, check it out down below. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and join the Discord. I'm trying to build that thing up again. So yeah, join the Discord. It's a lot of fun. I pop in from time to time. Yeah, guys, I will see you in the next one as we crash into the field. Bye bye. <laughs>